Okay, class, good morning. And today I'm going to review um, exam, which for your class is going to be exam number two. And once you log into Blackboard, if you click on exam number two, it should come up for you. And it is going to be called exam number two, the perfect pie chart. Since it is important for you to learn how to interpret data and communicate findings, the following assignment will assist you in learning how to create great looking and accurate charts. The instructions, I've labeled them for you, um, 1 through 10, so it's not a very difficult task. Um, you just have to get it done. I'm not going to bore you with reading to you because I know each and every one of you can do that. But what I would like to go ahead and jump to is showing you how to um, create your uh, pie charts. Once you open Excel, and let me see, I am in sheet number two, chart number two, sheet number two. Okay. I downloaded a data table which looks like this in Excel. And this is primarily a typical spreadsheet that you might download from the census.gov website. This is a housing survey. Um, the table that I used had to deal with child abuse and neglect cases reported and investigated by state in 2006. I looked at one, two, three, four, five different states, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, and California. Clearly, I just copied the first five states, uh, the data that was there. And it's important for you to note that in your pie chart, you need to have a title, you need to have a legend, which basically explains to the viewer what the chart is about. Um, let's see here if I can scroll down. And you need to, of course, have the source of your information added on that chart. So this is pretty much what it should look like, your pie chart. The data table in Excel that I pulled from I simply listed the states on once in one column and listed the numbers. I actually went with the actual numbers for this particular pie chart. Um, you're going to be using percentages, and usually that's in a column that you can see. If you click on the chart wizard in Excel, those of you who have experience in making um, charts with Excel, um, feel free to move forward at your own pace. I'm going to click on pie chart, and I do want you guys to use the Excel guys and gals to use the exploded pie chart and if you hold a sample you'll see what it gives you a little preview of what it looks like then you're going to click next you want to go with the columns don't worry about series for right now you want to show label and percent in your legend you want to show legend on the right hand side that's fine and for titles, you would type in the title of your chart. And usually you can retrieve this information from your um, Excel, uh, the data table that you originally used. And it'd probably be <clears throat> easier for you to put it as a new sheet. We'll call this chart number six. And then I'll click on finish. Now, as you can see here, here's your chart. It's almost done. Um... If you're, in, you're using Excel, you know that you can use the text tool and you can type in the title of your chart as well as select it again and type in the source of your information. And I'll go back to it. And that's pretty much all there is to it, to creating a chart using Excel. And then, of course, let me close this. Go back to your instructions and you want to, once you have all your pie charts done, you're going to upload them to your free account at Slideboom. You're going to send and upload the link according to the instructions. And I will give you a grade. And I think you'll be very pleased with yourselves. So I can't wait to see what everyone does with this particular assignment. Um, good luck. And if you have questions, feel free to email me. And that's how you create the perfect pie chart.